Morning, Chiefs fans. I want to get you guys a little bit. This is a first take. That's because it's something relatively new that happened. It's not an in-depth topic, but I want to give you something a little bit in the morning. Just start your Chiefs day off. And this week, something new happened. I think we should take a second. If you're new, like, sub, bell. Those are the three things that you want to do so you get more out of this channel and honestly out of your YouTube experience as well. What happened on Monday? There was a couple of moves. We'll talk about some of those as they become more uh, important as we go through the next week or two. But one thing in particular, an old favorite, Tom Bahali officially retired. He signed a one-day contract with the Kansas City Chiefs so that he could retire with the team that he is second on the all-time sacks list for. A guy that saw the changing of eras in Arrowhead and at Arrowhead One Drive. I think that this really says what it needs to say. Andy Reid was there. I'll show you guys here in a second. They put it on social media and we'll share that. But I think it really says about the evolution of what the game has become because Tamba actually would have been a guy that I think Spags would have liked. So as we see the end of his career come around and get official here, and I know he could have played the last couple of seasons, but wasn't able to find a contract and that's all right. He slowed as his career hit the, the end of it there. And as much time and effort as he put into Kansas City, I, I am enjoying seeing him come back and spend time with Andy Reid again. Um, and quite frankly, it's kind of the end of the era, obviously with Derek Johnson uh, going. Justin Houston is still here, but Tomba was here long before that. You know, like it is that crossover point. And so if you're one of those that thinks back old school, thinks Al, thinks all kinds of things from the past, that's really the point of, of Tom Holly. I think he's going to go down as a figure in, in Chiefs history that's always going to be there. He's always going to be in the conversation. I mean, Derek, Neil, Tomba, right? Could there be someone else? Justin, I think, will be in that mix as well, along with all the, the greats of the original couple of decades. But I think it's unique to have seen that progression. And now what we see is a, a, a lot more um, Morpheus kind of defense where everybody's got to play their part. You don't have the standout players. And quite frankly, the defensive end has been uh, going through some changes over the last couple of years since Tomba retired. And I think you'll always remember some of the things that he did in the duo of he and Justin Houston in particular. I hope that you remember it fondly. I certainly do. I just wanted to say, you know, today is that day to remember Tomba and everything that he did. Uh, I think you might see him again around the stadium. We'll talk about that sometime down the road, but want to leave you with this clip uh, of what they did today. Uh, and hey, here's to Tama. Thanks for watching. Like, sub, do the whole nine yards. We'll have more for you this afternoon and tomorrow and tomorrow and the next day, etc. You guys have a great one. We'll talk to you next time. He's ready to go, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sign, sign. Okay. Okay. All right. You gonna sign it? Look at it. He's jumping all over. All right, there we go, man. Congrats. Huh? It's official. You're officially retired. You're old. Right now. <laughs> Tom was my guy. Tom was my main man, and uh, I always look forward to taking the fields fields with you, man. Uh, for twelve straight years, man. And, uh, man, you my you you my guy, man. Nobody mm -hmm. nobody come close, really. I uh, appreciate that. Close. I appreciate that. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video from the team at RGR Football. Click these videos to see more, and subscribe to RGR.